Hi guys! Today we're going to be opening up the September Fairy Loot. I do not remember what the theme is, but I'm pretty sure I know what the, the book is. And I have mixed feelings on it, but let's see what's in the box. First thing says the Prison Healer card holder. Prison Healer was another book that we got. Oh, it's a little like wallet. I have one of these. Oh, that's really cute actually. So it's like a little mini wallet for your, your cards and it's got a couple slots to hold them in. That's really cute and it matches the uh, the flowers on the book. I can actually see myself using this because I have something like this already, but this is prettier. So that's cool. I love a good useful bookish item. All right, the next item uh, looks like an Ember in the Ashes enamel pin. I have not read that series, but I've heard good things by uh, Saba Tahir, I believe. I think that just ended too, so I might pick that up at some point. It says, may death claim me first. That's pretty cool. It's got like some sparkles and stuff on it. And again, where I haven't read the book, I don't really know the reference, but it is pretty and uh, I will be putting it on my pin banner. Ooh, pretty. I love socks. Oh my gosh. And I'm really excited about these ones. Looks like we have some socks inspired by Six Crimson Cranes, which I have not read, but I am going to be reading this month and I'm really excited because these uh these socks are really cute. They're like a soft pink and soft like grayish blue. It matches the cover of the book, the, the fairy loot edition at least. And I love the cranes and the little clouds. These are adorable. And it says this was designed by Katarina Book Designs and the enamel pin was designed by Jez Hawk. So cool. I'm so excited for these. I love socks. And like last month, I believe, this month also has a paperback book along with the hardcover. And it is an exclusive edition of Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray. This, I think, just got optioned for like a Netflix show. So that's cool. I don't know a lot about what this is. So I'm just going to read the back. It says, Kofi is a beast keeper at Lacosa's infamous night zoo caring for fearsome creatures to pay off her family's debts until she mistakenly unleashes a wild and mysterious power that sends the night zoo up in flames. Econ is destined to become an elite warrior like his father and brother before him until the fire at the night zoo throws his destiny into disaster and he is cast out forever. Thrown together, Kofi and Econ have only one choice. They must enter the terrifying greater jungle and capture the Shatani, a legendary monster that has plagued the Lakosa for a century. Magic has returned to Lakosa, and the hunt has begun. That's really cool. It says it's a brand new fantasy adventure for fans of An Ember in the Ashes, Shadow and Bone, and The Gilded Ones. So that sounds awesome. And I really like the cover. The original one is kind of more like greens and blues. So the, the purples and, and pinks are really fun. I enjoy that. It is also signed by the author. So that's awesome. I really like that Fairy Loot has done these paperbacks along with the hardcovers because those have been fun. And, you know, two books in one box is always a good deal. Okay, and this item I believe was meant to come last month, but it didn't ship to them in time. It's like a little tray and it says it wasn't the end. It was a better beginning by Aiden Thomas. So I believe that's inspired by Cemetery Boys, which I also have not read, but that's cute. I like these little tins and stuff as kind of jewelry catch-alls so that's nice and I really like the design it's got like flowers and candles and stuff so that's pretty nice and autumn-y I like that okay this next, next item looks like a tapestry I have no idea where I'm gonna put this I have no idea who those characters are that looks like uh it was drawn by Salties the the illustrator that did all the six crimson crane stuff let me find the spoiler card because I don't even know what the book that's for okay found it so the theme this month is Uprising. It's inspired by Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which I just got for my birthday. So that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, I have no idea who these characters are. One looks like an angel. One's got blue hair and tattoos. And it was illustrated by Salties. The card holder was also designed by Jets Hawk, who did the pin. Okay, cool. We're all caught up. I also found the tarot cards while I was digging for the spoiler card. And it looks like we have the four and three of pentacles these characters and they are designed by Morgana Anagram and features Jax and the Fallen Star from the Carval series. I do plan on reading Once Upon a Broken Heart here soon. I believe that is next month's book for Fairy Loot and Jax is the main character or the main love interest question mark for that one. I think he's this guy. I'm not sure. I haven't read Carval obviously but 
Uh, cool. Those are beautiful, like always. Okay, on to the book. I do like me some purple sprayed edges. Oh, and there's a ribbon. Oh boy, there's a lot going on here. So the book is Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. I did not love the Curse Breaker series, including A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which even if people didn't like the second and third installment in that series, they liked the first one. I didn't even like the first one. So this is a beautiful edition and I will be reading it at some point. I am going to give Bridget Kemmerer another chance, but I did not love, love her other books. So my excitement is kind of tempered for this. I don't even quite know what it's about other than I'm assuming an uprising, given that is the theme of the month. The flap says a spark of rebellion is all it takes to defy the night. The kingdom of Kandala is on the brink of disaster. Rifts between sectors have only worsened since a sickness began ravaging their land and the only known cure, an elixir made from the moonflower petal, is severely limited. Within the royal palace, the king holds a tenuous peace with a ruthless hand. Out in the wilds, apothecary apprentice Tessa Cade is tired of seeing her neighbors suffering ignored by the unyielding royals. Every night, she and her best friend Wes risk their lives to steal moonflower petals and distribute the elixir to those who need it most, but it's still not enough. As rumors spread that the cure is no longer working and sparks of rebellion begin to flare, a particular cruel act from the king's justice makes Tessa desperate enough to try the impossible, sneaking into the palace. But what she finds on the inside makes her wonder if it's possible to fix Kandala without destroying it first. So that's cool. Looks like we got some uh, artwork on the inside as well. Oh, that's a really pre pretty illustration. I do like that. Seems to be the character. I'm not sure if that's the prince or her friend, Wes. And then the naked hardback has this little fleur-de-lis on it, which is subtle but cute. And it is also signed by the author. So very cool. So the spoiler card says the artwork on the reverse side of the dust jacket is by Liz Art underscore Zardonix. Well, that's a really pretty illustration. I'll have to check their other stuff out. And then letter from the author as per usual. So keep that with the book. Cool. So that's a pretty, pretty good box. I like the items for the most part. The tapestry is pretty, but like, I don't know where I'm going to put this, honestly. Um, so that's not always my favorite to have like those giant sort of soft things. But I'm really excited for the second book that we got as well, Beasts of Prey. That sounds really cool. And the socks, actually, I think the socks are probably my favorite item just because I love socks so much. So cool. Not my favorite fairy loot box overall, but I think that's just like a theme thing for me. And again, I'm not quite sure how I feel about Bridget Kemmerer. So curious to see if this is an improvement on her other series. And yeah, I will let you guys know my thoughts about this book at some point when I pick it up. Otherwise, pretty good box overall. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Did you like the items? Are you excited about the book? Have you read the book? Let me know if you have and if I should be excited for it, especially if I did not like Curse Breakers. But thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and have a wonderful day. Bye.